When hundreds of rickshaw drivers gather at the outskirts of Beijing, they often bear the economic burdens from the faraway home, and also the hopes for a better future for their children. Every day, more than 20 rickshaws park by the Communication University of China subway station to wait for customers. A driver, usually a migrant worker, earns 200 yuan, equals 31.5 U.S. dollars each day on average, which could be 12 times more than the earnings in their hometown in rural China. But for some, they could never obtain legal status. Since 2006, the government of Beijing has made continuous effort to eliminate the number of rickshaws because they are blamed for traffic jam and accidents. It's 9 a.m. in Beijing. Behind me, you can see several rickshaws gathered around the subway station called Communication University of China. Lots of migrant workers flood into Beijing to be rickshaw drivers because they get a higher salary in Beijing. But this job is illegal, so their rights is not protected by Chinese government. Zhang Shifu is one of the female rickshaw drivers, and she will tell me her story in Beijing. Zhang Shifu, one of the rare female rickshaw drivers, came from Liaoning Province. Said it was impossible to raise a family back home. I had no job or land to find in my hometown, so I moved to Beijing to find jobs. If I find a job in my hometown, I can only earn several hundred yuan per month, about. Seventy-nine U.S. dollars. The maximum is a hundred and fifty-nine U.S. dollars. It's quite difficult to raise the children, the old, with that salary. Recently, in Beijing, the government has implemented a series of policies to tackle with illegal rickshaws. Local residents, like twenty-year-old Zuo Zheng, said he was happy to see an end to reckless rickshaw driving behaviors. Well, the rickshaws look very shabby. Once I saw a rickshaw roll over, the passenger fell out of the car, and the rickshaw driver ran away. So I think our safety cannot be guaranteed if we take those rickshaws. And I agree that rickshaw drivers struggle in their life. They get up very early and go back home late. So I think the government should take measures to help them. But others find rickshaws useful, such as 20-year-old Shao Yixue, who takes it as a means of transportation frequently. The rickshaws have a great advantage when there's a traffic jam, since it can take you get across cars, towards sidewalks, and directly to your destination as soon as possible. According to an online survey conducted by Sena.com, about 79.7 percent of the people they had taken a rickshaw. Over half of them think illegal rickshaws should not be banned, while 47 percent of them are not familiar with rickshaw's endangerment. It remains a debate whether the Chinese government should take responsibility to protect the rights of illegal rickshaw drivers. The government needs to decide whether to provide training and better equipment. Or to leave them pedaling towards an unknown future. This is Berkeley from Beijing.